Hey, this is Jeremy and Zan, and you're watching the Lotus Boxes. What's up, YouTube? This is Zan Sayed and Jeremy Bertarioni, and we are happy to be back on MTG Arena. And today we are playing Soul Time Midrange. I am excited to play this deck because it won the last tournament. The first place deck from the last tournament, but this is Dylan Donegan's version, which does have some differences. Yep. Uh, notably, we have Assassin's Trophy instead of an extra cast down. Yep. We're not playing Midnight Reaper, and we got that Seeker Squire right out of here. Yeah, get that Seeker Squire out of here, because we like that incubation, dude, because we want a ramp, because that's what matters in the mirror, and that's what we care about. Ramp with the incubation druid is going to lead to bigger hydro crises. Yep. Uh, Carnage Tyrant first, putting them kind of behind the eight ball, and just faster Vivian Reed. So it just seemed like an all around better fit to add incubation druid into the deck instead of the one Seeker Squire. Um, but we do know that explore creatures are really good, and there might be some kind of a cost associated with having one fewer explore creature, but it's unlikely. Um, Anything else you want to talk about at this deck? I heard that you actually had a story about Dylan Don. We wanted to give a shout out to Dylan Donigan, first yeah. of all, for letting us use his list. Second of all, great guy, and I think you had a story about that. Yeah, Dylan played against the guy who won. Yeah. Uh, what was his name? Again? Anthony Devardi. Anthony Devardi. And um, he helped him uh, learn, uh, figure out the sideboard in the mirror match, and I think that helped him in his quest to win the tournament. And... Uh, Another person is Oliver Tomiko and Abe Corrigan, who also um, worked with uh, Dylan on this list, and I think it was Oliver's uh, list overall. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, this is MTG Arena. This is a faster software, so let's hop into some games and give our fans some sweet gameplay. Yep, I'm pumped. Let's go. Dang, this is so much faster. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, All right, here we are. What do you think about this hand? It is pretty good. We got explore creatures, we got the perfect mana, and we got a great finisher. So we have turn two, branch walker, and a turn three, jade light. Fine finality to kind of get us there if we need sweepers, if they're like, say, the white deck. Uh, and if they're a control deck, then we have a carnage tyrant, and these explore creatures are going to let us hit our land drops. So kind of we're hitting all the walls here. I really like kind of what we got going on. So this Ooh. matchup, we know. you. We've been here before. All about finality on time. Exactly. Just buying time. That's yeah. all we're trying to do. And it looks like we don't have to take too much damage. We're probably going to have to shock to get this Jade Light Ranger in. Oof. Rough. Whoa. 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Not the place we want to be. All yeah, right. but we got a blocker. Even if he Benelish Marshals us next turn, we have a block. Uh, uh, graveyard. graveyard. <laughs> we were close. That's awesome. All right. What's he got? I think it's the Marshall. You know about your country. We're uh, back. Oh, I love how Whoa, fast no up. attacks? That was phenomenal. Give him a nice. Let's let's give him a nice. Let's give him a nice for the no attacks. Nice. All right. We're going to go with the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah. And that means we can play Overgrown Tomb Tap. I love it. Love it. All right. And no attacks. No, we, we're also going to follow suit and not attack. Maybe our opponent's pretty new. They don't know that uh, losing one. Oh, they might have just been waiting on that land. Ooh, he has plus two, plus two. I like blocking here. It seems pretty I clear. I love the blocks. Yeah. Um, this is a block. That's the only block. Right, that's what I mean. So maybe he didn't attack on purpose. Ooh. He, oof. Oof. Uh, duh. I think we're dead. Uh, we're actually not because we gained six here. All we right. Go to 12. Okay. That's a nice life total. I'm loving this. Go to 12. Uh, let's hope he doesn't have another one. Yeah. If he had another one, we would have died, I think. You could, could have just cast it. We just would have been a dead person. Ooh. Graveyard. We have our next couple of land drops lined up, actually, so it's up to you. I actually kind of... I, I, I dig it. Because uh, yeah. the reason why I dig it is because we can play the Hydra Cases next turn and gain a life, and have a blocker for one of his flyers. Great. So, so um, basically we're going to 12, and our opponent attacks us again. We get rid of the, both the ground creatures, we go to 6. So this card is actually essential for us to live, unless we want to use the Assassin Trophy instead. Okay, sounds good. Alright, so let's keep... Boom, big 3-5 now. And go... We didn't even have to play a tap lane. This mana base is great. Loving it. You gotta play some basics in this format. You just gotta. 
All right, we're, we're just hoping that our opponent's out of gas. Oof. That's not rough. Ugh, that's that actually, actually really, really rough. Bad. Yeah, I think we lose now. Yep, so we basically take 10 here. Um, and uh, that, that, that draw was game-defining. Incubation Druid would have been everything, though, this game. Look, yeah. it's just like we're one mana short. Ooh, so close. Yep, and Lion of Warhol would have been even better. It would have fit um, the curve a little yeah, better. Way, yeah, much you're better. right. All right, yep. well, let's jump into another game. So uh, we got a little blitzed out this one. I, d I do want to think about one last thing. So let's say if we play the Hydra Crisis uh, for one and then have the Assassin's Trophy, that means we still die. We're at two. Yep, yeah. we are dead. Uh, but that's kind of the good thing about Arena. We get to show you guys a, a bigger range of games. So that was us getting run over by the white deck. Yep. Um, and we are not yet in best of three Arena mode, but I do want to talk at the end of this video a little bit about the Mythic Invitational and best of three hitting Arena, which I'm actually pretty excited for. I'm pumped. Um, but for now, let's just, uh, we're just, we get to experience a wide variety of game ones. For example, in this game one, we didn't have green in our hand, so we got a mulligan. Yep, exactly. Very sad. I like this one, though. I'm very happy. Top. Uh, I love yep, it. Yep, sure, we'll get... Pay two. Play you. Go. Ash Taker is a very nice addition to this deck. Esper Control. Maybe. Or maybe the Esper mid-range uh, Wyatt Darby list. Ooh. Either way, we're doing pretty good. I think that was a more of a week one deck. I like it, though. Basilica Bellhaunt is just so a three-for-one against these red decks. Uh, oof. The Tyrant. Oof. That's all right. This deck wouldn't be a deck if we didn't have ways to get things out of our graveyard. Yeah, we're playing against Esper Control. Hostage Taker's pretty bad. Well, the... Uh, there you go. The other list also ran Thought Erasure. Darby's list runs Thought Erasure. Oh, that's true. So this is still could be the Hero Precinct 1 list, but I kind of get to read the disc control also. Okay, so let's say we go find, bring back Carnish Tyrant and Llanowarf, play Llanowarf. That means we get to play Carnish Tyrant next turn. I think that's a path to victory. I love it. I mean, you know, pretty clear, little mode. Wow, I like the Auto Tapper here. Or, I like not using Auto Tapper. That was smart. And yeah, we don't have, we don't even have to take two, and we get to get them for three. We're almost at oh gosh, boom! We are crushing this game. Let's see what our opponent has. I mean, it's rough if our opponent has land into wrath, but I think that this is how that matchup goes. Okay. Whoa! I told you he's on Darby's list. All right, so we should be happy about this. We get to hostage taker it, and that's a powerful card. Um, I don't think they have that many removal spells, so I would love to hostage taker. Of course, yeah. Clear hostage taker. Give me my mana guys back. Well, great. Alright, what you got? What you got? Not Basilical Bell Haunt on that tapped. Oh, Ugh. Ooh, mortify. Man, we're just going to be fighting over these Lionel Elves. For a little while, I guess. And that's cool with me because we're winning. As long as you're winning, as long as we're winning, it's cool with Zan. That's what you can take home from that one. I guess I didn't have to use the Vraska's Contempt there uh, because he could potentially play another one. And that would be weird. This but... card's so oppressive. Well, we're totally fine. We got this huge guy. I want to see it roar. I miss Arena. <laughs> there it is. Yay. Go. What does this do? This is the thing the deck's based off of. It's whenever no, no, no. Yeah. I, I know what it does. I was just saying, like, what does it do? Like, a deeper. A deeper what does it do? So we're going to go ahead and attack and basically tell our opponent... Eat this. Here you go, opponent. Eat this. Okay, what did we find? We need Fanged Finality. Oh, I love this card. Great. And I'm going to play this. Go. No spells. Oh, I don't want no spells. There it is. And boom. All right. That was nice. 
kind of shows so the kind of draws you can have where you like overpower them and then like hit them behind the eight ball with a carnage tyrant. Yep. And let's go for the tiebreaker. Let's go for the tiebreaker. All right. So we lost one. Then we won one. Kind of got run over, and that makes sense. That kind of shows a weakness that you shore up after sideboarding with Cry the Carnariums and various other sweepers. Um, and then we were able to sort of out mid range one of the uh, other premier mid range decks of the format. Um, so now let's see what happens game three. And we basically have a land or else and wild growth walkers and hoping to draw explore creatures. Yeah, if you draw one explore creature, I think we're in a great great spot. Not having seeker squire consideration for this hand make you feel bad about it. Uh, seeker squire would have been. Replacing the incubation druid specifically. Yeah. So um, it hasn't really shown up yet. If you draw the incubation druid, then I might say I'm sad, but I think I'd be happy to draw a. Uh, to draw. Sure. To draw a incubation druid over a seeker squire. Playing against red. I think our hand's pretty good against red. Honestly, we have two walkers. If we can hit. Okay. Okay. So Stuff has happened. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to jinx anything or talk about what's happening, really, because I'm scared. But definitely, we have two Wild Growth Walkers out and a Jaylet Ranger in our hand. Pretty sure if it resolves, we go to 50, and that means we win. Ooh, hard cast light up the stage. That is not good for our opponent. All right, one time, green source. And we drew the swamp. Wah, wah. Interesting, 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 interesting spot. So, we could go find... Yeah. And try to get the land off and put it into play. What I like about that is it walks him into using his wizard lightning that way. Yep. Uh, I think... I actually think I'm going to hold off. Okay. The reason why I'm going to hold off is because he's very likely to use his wizard lightning on one of our wild growth blockers. Okay. And we can just... Just value our way. Sure. All right, so Three color mana base, kind of having less uh, dual lands than we're used to, kind of hitting us here a little bit. Yep. Um, but that's just, you know, the way it goes. Oof, we got that. That was so much value. Oh, no. Oof, super, super rough. All right, super so we're going to take the... Take the two. I'll get Chupacabra. And hit the electric star. Great. Boom. All right. Still in a position to really pull ahead if we can get a Jade Light Ranger in play. Yeah, it's kind of shocking that we haven't, that we managed to dodge green sources. Just another I'm... aspect of the deck. Here's a green source. Ooh. Now, yep, I think I will. You worried about Chain Whirler? I mean, Chain Whirler is still not that bad. Okay. I think it's just Lanor Elf Go. I mean, it could be fine. Fine now, uh, fine back a wild growth walker. Play that, but uh, I don't have to be that greedy. Greed is the name of Zan's game. Keeps more one landers than Seth Manfield. <laughs> Maybe not. That's not true. Actually, I don't know. He keeps a lot of one landers. Okay, I, I, that's probably true. We're about to get bang fired. Ooh. Dang it, we just can't stick a Lanor Elves. It's okay, kill him. I dare you. He just will. I dare you. Maybe he'll hit his own Pyromancer. Or maybe he might attack with both and see if, he, if we're willing to get rid of our thing. Yep, and I am. That's just the truth. We're getting rid of Wild Grove Walker here? I'll take the two for one. So much life, though. No, but we have to find. We just set it up for another hand. Find. Find two Wild Earth Walkers. We can only play one of them. Are you going to get in the cheeky hit for one? Yeah. Nice. But yeah, uh, that trade was worth it to me. We're at 13. We have a lot more cards in our hand than our opponent. Kind of shows the red deck's weakness against these decks and shows this deck's sort of strength. 
against that portion of the metagame. Definitely if I was considering this for tournaments, one of the big deals for me is that we're gaining a ton of life and it's going to stink if they're mono red. Yep. Mono red is definitely one of the most powerful decks if you're not playing long field. Yep. All right. Dang. Arena just lets us really hit all the bases of a deck in a few minutes. Whoa. Yeah, you better. He's a goner. Green source? Ooh, no green source. Um, I think this is a good good time to yeah, let's, this first. let's get our card. Uh, it's going to be a three. two, right? So we could hit a land. Uh, might as well. All right. 33. Um, he has to devote a lot more to kill it. Sure. Shocks don't work. Yep. Not having shock is just... Um, we're just going to go ahead and play this. And this. Attack for three. Okay. And that's game. Hey opponent, want to see a cool trick? Wow, we just been to find finality. Uh, that's, that's the state of the game. We're at 206, and we're tagging for 9. Cool. I'm surprised we're still playing. Yeah, I would have thought that his head would have exploded by now, but there it is. Ooh. Boom. All right, you two, so there you go. You got some highs, some lows, and then really showcasing the strength of a deck. Uh, I want to talk real fast. Today they actually announced the Mythic Invitational, which w is the um, it's an ex it's an exhibition tournament. It's not replacing the Pro Tour. Those are the Mythic Championships. We still don't have very much information about those, but it is a new tournament that features the top 32 players in the Magic Pro League, as well as 24 kind of entertainment Centric. figures in yeah. the Magic community. Uh, and some in the Hearthstone community. And then there are eight at-large arena slots that you get by being numbers one through eight in uh, arena. There's a huge prize pool, the biggest ever for Magic Tournament, a yep. million-dollar prize pool, including a quarter million to first place. That's amazing. Zam, what are your initial thoughts on sort of this tournament? Um, I think this tournament is great for Magic. It It's just a huge showcase of all the different types of talents in Magic. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And it was, it's kind of going to be like an NBA East Coast, West Coast thing. Basically, we get to see if the MPL is really the MPL or are the entertainers or the, or the grinders going to beat those people. Um, my prediction is that a grinder is going to win. That's also... This is going to be the first tournament. It's going to be somebody new... Um, kind of not never really got to go out and play tournaments, sort of like how Brad Nelson was discovered from Moto. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a grinders discovered from Arena, just going to come forth and just like, yep. you know, I, I made it to number one and I won this tournament. Let's see what Pro Magic's all about. Uh, a lot of negativity about this tournament, and I'm not sure where it's all coming from because this tournament is an addition. It's something new. It's yep. not replacing the Pro Tour. That's the um, Mythic Championship. This is the Mythic Invitational. It's not replacing anything. It's a brand new tournament. So. I think there's a lot going for it. Expectations are low. Yeah. You know, so really, if this whole thing falls on its face, then everybody was just right anyway. Um, you know, prize payout's high. They're obviously sinking a lot of resources into this. I'm hoping it turns out good. I think if it's done well, it could really grow magic in a positive way. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if they're having streamers and entertainment figures of the magic community on, that means that you and I got a pretty good shot. Uh, yeah, I really hope so. But uh, the thing that I do want to talk about is I think the key to this tournament is going to be coverage. Covering this tournament, they can do a lot of cool things because they're going to have more more entertainers there as well. And they're basically training the MPL um, to get more involved in the um, entertainment side of things. And so I'm going to be really looking forward to how they, they take... Um, coverage for these tournaments to the next level i think my yeah my mood is optimism with a little bit of let's wait and see i'm not gonna bet the farm on it but i 
I think it's I think it's better than people think it is. Yeah, There's a lot of 100%. negativity, and I don't get it to be yeah. honest. We're, we're for the positive side, of course. Lotus Boxers, Magic's growing. We're growing. Let's see this Mythic Invitational. Yeah, and then we're you know you guys need to like, comment, subscribe so that we grow enough so that you can see us on there. Yeah, I would love to be on that. Of course. Well, not just for the cash. Oh no, I. I truly love magic of course i'd love to just play with everybody and of course we want to thank you for being here with us uh through our journey through moto and back to arena honestly guys it's been such a rush making all this uh content for you um subscribers have been great um comment more comment more a little bit yeah you know if 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 you guys are looking for feedback like we're always looking for feedback y'all could comment more yeah we love you but comment more um, deck list for this one's in the description doc box down below. below. And um, YouTube, it's been awesome, and we'll see you next time. See ya.